Okay, I'm by the old railroad tracks, and right here, about two inches down, I got a rosy dime, 1962. Surface find, I found a ring. Okay, about five inches down, I got some kind of token. It's got a horse on it. Okay, I'm right across the street from the railroad station. And about three inches down, I got a little coin spill. And it looks like I got something silver. So, Walking Liberty. Okay, let me see what else. It's a nickel. Oh, nickel. Quarter? Yeah, it's a quarter. It's a silver quarter. Okay, I found the Walking Liberty half and quarter right there across the street from the railroad station. And this nice family here was nice enough to let me hunt this vacant house. And I told them I'd give them the next silver thing I found. And I, looks like I found a silver dime. Right here, about another 15 feet, found another silver dime. Looks like a mercury. 1939. Okay, this hunt's wrap up is from three days of hunting, about 12 hours total. I got about $5 in clad. But I gave that family about a dollar fifty and change, one silver dime, and about seven or eight wheat backs for giving me permission to hunt that vacant lot. These are the remaining wheat backs. The oldest one is a 1910. And here was the best coin spill of my life. Got the Walking Liberty half, 1945. 1952 Washington quarter and also that nickel ended up being a silver war nickel 1942 and there was also like four wheat backs all in that same coin spill and something else interesting it looks like this was a quarter that somebody put on the railroad tracks and it's totally flattened Here's the trash pile. Some of the interesting stuff is like a Gemini medallion, a metal faucet handle, padlock, hot wheels, and some kind of old tin of medication called Tetarin. So thanks for watching everybody. Happy hunting and good luck on your next hunts.